So, Dr. Dumbre, no more words. The floor is yours. Introduce yourself and introduce the topic of the webinar. Please. Floor is yours, Dr. Dumbre. Yeah, sure, sure. I will just make the PPT ready and I will again come into the picture. Yeah, sure. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Please. Very good, very good. Okay, okay, okay. So, friends, shall we start or shall we wait? Because only four persons are here. No, let's start. I'm recording. Uh, so, we okay, can also okay. share the video. No, no question, no question. I will start. I will start. Just wait. Just wait. Uh, thing is, we share and I will start. Yeah. Now, can you see my video PPT? Hello? Yes, we can see. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, okay. So, friends, uh, <clears throat> my voice is not so clear today, but I will uh, uh, try to make it as, as good as possible. Okay, yeah. Okay. Now, see, I will start with the uh, introduction. Introduction is like this, pollination support to agricultural crops by stingless bees. Okay, so these are the stingless bees. Generally, we say that honeybees stings to us by their stinger. But this is a stingless bees, which means that the stinger is not developed in their body part. Okay, stinger is present at the abdomen last part of the abdomen and they are stinging to us when they feel that we are unsafe or some person are going to attack them or some person are going to uh, create a nuisance to them. So they sting likewise. But this uh, pollination support to agricultural crops by stingless honeybees, these honeybees won't sting to us at any time because they don't have stinger only. Myself, Professor Heman Dumbre, I am the master trainer of Central Bee Research and Training Institute, which is at Pune, Maharashtra, India. And uh, my mobile number and my email ID is there. You can uh, note down it after some time. No question. Okay. Or you can write down or at this time also. Okay. So on our globe, you will find there are around 20,000 known species of bees. but out of that, we focus only on honeybees. In that also, there are total nine honeybee species, which makes the honey, which is a species or a, I will say a very great product for our uh, human being also. Okay. But this is not only the thing that he, um, honeybees gives us. Honeybees also gives us different parts, different types of products that we will see later on. But these are the species of honeybees. Important species of honeybees are living in atmosphere. They cannot be reared in boxes. There are total four species. One is rock honeybees. Another one is giant honeybees. Third one is red dwarf honeybees. And fourth one is black dwarf honeybees. These four species cannot be reared in the boxes. But these below living in the dark places, they can be reared in the boxes are cavity, nesting, icy, and honeybees. Then Koshinos, Kios, honeybees, then Philippine honeybee, and last one is a Western honeybee. These eight species, they stink to us whenever they feel unsafe. But this nine species, Dammer bee or stingless bee, won't uh, stink to us, which is from a, another family. These top five, eight species are from Apidi family, but this is from Meliponidae family. The name is Melipona iridipinis. This is a very good species for our pollination purpose. We will study today that only. Uh, meanwhile, I will just hint some species which are important in from India. One is the rock bees. That is the, they are, you, you, want, you can see different uh, plants and different things where you can find different honeybee species are there. If you, if it's gone from one place to another place after some time, you will find these down, come downs, which is a very big size. For observation purpose, I have taken my students to rock bee hive tree. Okay. Then second one is the little bees, 
which is Apis floria, which make a small type of a cone into that, which is having a very small type of cone. Okay, so that is there. Okay, next is the Indian high view, that is Apis indica. These are the Indian bees, which gives us a uh, honey also, as well as pollination also. The, this is a may, may, uh, uh, European bees from Italy, uh, from Dominico's uh, country, I will say. Uh, Apis mellifera, which is uh, predominant in India, but predominant in all over the world right now. Okay. And this is one, our small Melipona uh, iridipenis, which is a stingless bee or diamond bee, which is a very important thing. Okay. Now, these bees, diamond bees, or makes a different type of comb wherever they, they are living. Suppose they are living in the box, you can make see that they are making the, this type of comb. This is from the photo from the box. Okay. Now, this colony, the stingless bees colony, which are there inside the uh, one uh, rock, uh, I will say, not rock, I will, but it is on the wall. It was on the wall. So let us see what, what it is. Now you can see the bees are coming and going. A small hole is there, which gives us a, uh, a place for coming and out. See, now you can see some of the, them going out, some of them are going inside. And on the legs, you can find the pollens are attached. See now, red stuff, yeah. Now this, see, this is the box in the box. What is there? Now see, these are, okay. See this, they are working, they are constructing. Different kinds of things are there, different work is there for them. Can you see this video, please, Dominico? Yes, we can see clearly, so nice. Very good, okay. You can see this, all videos. These are all videos from my boxes. I have around 20 box of these bees and I am rearing them for the pollination purpose. Then this is one where you can see the queen. Now in the hive, you find the queen is one. There are some few drones, like 40 to 100 drones are there. And there are around 25,000 to 50,000 workers are playing role very much important role of uh, bees. Okay, now this, this you can see here, the queen is here. This is the queen, a big queen is here. See, this is the queen is moving from one place to another place for laying of eggs. Queen work is only the lay of eggs. The workers, they are doing all the works. And when the new queen is prepared or new queen is formed, that time you will find that this uh, drones are coming into action. Okay. Now you can see this hive structure is very different than the others. Now suppose these bees comes out, then what will happen? They will not sting to us, but they will try to fly around the head. Now let us see how they are. Okay, so you can see this. This is a very interesting factor. They fly around us, but they don't turn the sting to you. Okay. Now, suppose there is a, a colony inside the wall. How to remove it? You can't, you can't break the wall, but you can remove it. You can take a coconut, this thing, a small a coconut half portion, and some small hole you can make here, and you can just put here one small rubber, rubber tube. Now, let us see how we are doing it. Yeah, I 
Now you can see that they are going inside by this small tube. Okay, so afterwards, sometimes what happen? The queen comes out and make the house in this uh, coconut uh, half portion, and you can remove this by just removing this uh, yam seal. Okay, we have put this yam seal to fix it on the uh, wall. Okay. Now, suppose there are different requirements for stingless bees. Box to raise the honeybees, you need you need the stand to keep the box. A cap is to protect our face. Honey extraction, you need to remove the honey from this. Small rope to feed the box. A steel drum to keep the honey. And black oil, this to put on the stand to protect from the honeybee. A different type of paste. Okay, so likewise. So these are the, uh, some boxes, uh, stands are there. You can keep these uh, boxes on the stand. Okay. Then this is a uh, cover cap just put on the head to protect uh, our uh, body parts. Then there are different plants you have to grow by different ways, different months, different days, I will say. But something should be there. Now, remember that the bee should get 365 days flower. If the bee are getting 365 days flowers, they will, they will, they will never die. They will never die. Okay. Then there are some pulses, then there are some oil seeds, there are some flowers. You can just plant them. Okay. Then you can have different forest plants of different forest plants. Then cereals you can grow there. Some of the medicinal plants you can grow there. Okay. And these are some of the fruit plants. So ensure that 365 days you get a, some type of food for our district. Then this is a onion seed production dependent on the honeybees. And if there is no honeybee, you can't say anything. You can't do what no, you can. Okay. This is one. Now, these are all onion, onion seeds production. And you can find here even the not 25% seeds are there because there is no honeybees. This is one boxes which I have kept in the mango trees. Okay. In the mango trees, I have kept these boxes. These are the boxes which I have kept on the terrace. Namaskar. Yahit Dunker Hit Madmasha Jala Stingless Bees Asapun Mantu Tancha Ya Tayar Kirilla Char Navin Pitya Ata Hazapun Nit Pilo Terichamudun Tumala. You can see at the entrance the bees are there. Ad Bahir Kurias. You can see that the bees are going through that small pipe. Chawat na hit majhe yena kutlai prakar cha dunka nusto. Dunka asto ponon to do dunka vikasit zali na nusto ponon ta chawat na hita pila. Tya mothe apna propolis gola karta. Anti propolis asa tonda la laun thoro ta. Thi kala manje propolis hai. Propolis is a blackish portion is a propolis. This is propolis is present on the plant. Anti cha pasu niha. They collect it. They collect it. Techanantar, it is one of the It is a big lapunta at Madizata et et. Ternazanesati, you look so to stone as to each other. You can see the Okay. Now, you can see in the box, Dunker, if you open it, you can see that all the activities, activities are there inside. Because a plastic paper has been put on the box. box on the lower. So they, they won't come out. But you can see them. Okay. The downside is of uh, 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 house of a of or say sales of the honey. Then you can see brood honey. This side is brood. 
मेफ्लावर साधारणपणे एप्रिल मे महिन्यात त्याला फुल येतं आणि अशा स्वरूपाचं त्याला बघितलं आपण तर एका शेंड्यावरती त्याला पराग करून गोळा घालले असतात आणि तेच गोळा करायचं काम आता ह्या डंकर येत पद्माशा करत आहेत हे बा ह्या डंकर येत पद्माशी आहे Now you can see here the small peas are there, which are of a stingless peas. Now suppose you want to remove the honey from this coat or the box, you can do this. You can cut that top portion and from the suction you can just have honey. From that cell, you can remove the honey to suction. Okay, so these are the honeybees, uh, stingless honeybees. Uh, these are some of the books which I uh, I brought it from, not brought it, but they have sent it to me from the uh, London. Then these are some of the e-books which I have. Then pollination of flowers. See, only the important is the pollination of flower is very much important. If you do the pollen, the insects are doing the pollination. Honeybees collect nectar and pollen from the apple blossom, not apple, but every blossom you can see, and find this group of plants is very accurate. The amount of nectar and pollen varies along the cultivar so that honeybees show preference for some cultivars. Other than other, you can see that if the good flowers of sunflower is there, they generally goes there. They won't go other because they love that flower. If it is the mustard is there, they love that flower. Likewise, there are different plants which they are loving too much. You can have different kinds of bees there. Okay, so here this is one. Then pollination of flowers in the in that important is different cultivars are also greatly the which I have told you just now. You have to different cultivate different plants which are of uh, flowering plants which are helpful for the honeybees. Okay, then also these uh, honeybees go on the flower. They collect the nectar. This nectar is converted into a drop of a honeybee, a drop of honey, and then you can uh, get that particular honey. Okay, so likewise the things are there here uh, and. Uh, in June 20 to 26th, it is a pollinator week. In the in uh, our universal globe, you say that June 20 to 26, the third week of a June month is a pollinator week, which is a national and annual celebration of pollinator health of uh, different uh, at different places. Like 28th May, the this is after three days. 28th May is a our national international honeybee day. Jaktik Madhmashi Divas, that International Honey Bee Day, which is on 20th May, which is very soon. And I am going to India's uh, Balaghat Madhya Pradesh uh, station where a uh, international workshop is there of different uh, people. They are, they are coming there for uh, this uh, celebration of International Honey Bee Day. Okay. Then what we can learn from the honeybees? This is very important. Cooperation, you can just have a, what type of cooperation they are. are they fantastic cooperation. Okay. Work with very constant. You have to work very constantly. There is no uh, leave uh, of medical leave or say any type of leave. No, they have to work very constantly. So get up early and start the work. This is what we can learn from the, our bees. Grow and bring the pollen and nectar from the same plants. That is another one. Always take care of the hive. Very good. 
and lastly work till your death point you have to work to your tail point and the important is that don't waste any food which is very precious i'm telling you friends if you do that i will be very happy okay so don't don't uh, waste the food which is very precious to us okay uh, thank you very much for the uh, uh, the my small presentation of bees that is stingless bees stingless bees are generally uh, they are nobody look on on that uh, the stingless bees but i am looking on the stingless bees i am trying to collect it i am trying to give to different farmers and for the pollination purpose so from pollination also different kind like a small flower mango flower is there cashew nut flower is there then you can say mustard flower is there then you can say onion flower is there these flowers are pollinated through a distinguished bees on a large scale so it will be a great uh, this thing that if it is a boon for our agriculture side okay so this is one and last one is what i say want to say that don't waste the food which is very very precious very very precious whatever you need that what you take into your uh, bowl and that eat 100% don't throw it away because when honey bees a small honey bee is making pollination which is giving food to you and we what type of right we have that we should throw it away no don't throw it away you take you can cook whatever you want but cook in a such a fashion that you get the perfect food okay but don't waste it this is very precious thing which i want to tell you and lastly what what i wanted to uh, tell you is that you can learn very thing many thing from the honey bees which is uh, which which i have shown you work with very constant you have to be constantly you have to work no question then get up early and start the work don't become a lazy uh, sleeping up to uh, 9 o'clock 9 am or 10 am don't don't do that you can just wake up very early and do start your work go and bring the pollen and nectar from the same plant suppose a pollination support for uh, our uh, mustard crop is there so go to the mustard that's all no other flower you can choose and go there and bring the uh, this thing so you get a uni flower as well as multiplorer honey also so honey which is of a multiplorer honey is of a different kind different color but you if you get a uni flower honey that is same plant and like tulsi honey jambul honey then ajwain honey you have a mango honey or say coconut honey or areca nut honey but which is very precious very precious so you have to be very cautious regarding that okay then always take care of the hive this is very important you have to take it. so all the bees which are don't go there outside they they just sit in the comb but they have to be very very uh, alert become alert so that there will be no attack of any parasite and pest that is then and work till your death point you uh, their life cycle is around 20 uh, 60 months workers live around 60 days i will say two months only around two months but in the two months they work like anything fantastically and they gives us a honey which is a very very precious thing honey you get first you can say that in a uh, nutshell uh, first a capital a you can say it is a pollination part which is very important very very important second b part you can say that there are different type of products you are getting one is the honey honey you can use the honey in different ways like you can make the cake for eating or say different kind of um, honey soaps also you are getting and different products can be made from this then this pollens are collected those pollens are also you can eat okay and this is one honey another one is pollen pollens you can collect it when they bring the honey from the flower uh, from in their uh, lake spark so that honey you can just collect it by putting the uh, different kind of structure is there at the entrance gate so to put it and uh, you get the sometime uh, some uh, small quantity of pollen base okay so that you can eat also very good food then uh, then third is the wax you get the wax also at the time of uh, cutting the this thing hive you get the wax wax is also very important 
Then next is the royal jelly and uh, stingly as uh, this beef, you know. Royal jelly is coming from their head part. Okay, pharyngeal glands are there. These pharyngeal glands, they secrete the uh, royal jelly product. This royal jelly product is fed to a uh, queen bee. So queen is always eating uh, royal jelly. Royal jelly, I told you, which is a very, very precious product in India. Not India, you know, or the globe, I will say. Okay. Then, hey. And hey. last one is where you get a... Uh, the propolis. propolis is nothing but propolis is on the top of the burst of the plant, which is very important for your uh, construction of the coat. Okay. So this is what we are getting. So uh, if hey. you keep the boxes in your farm, what will happen? If you keep your boxes in a farm, your pollination will be increased. Okay, one thing. Second thing, you can multiply the colony and then sell. That is one. First one is the high, uh, this thing, pollination for, for your own farm. Then you can just rent the, your box to a different farmers so that you get the money. You get the rent, which is very good amount. And last one is you can multiply the boxes. From 100 box, you can make another 100 box in a certain period of time in a year. You just grow it for two months and you can sell it. Okay, dear Dr. Dumbre, sorry, yes. we, we have to close now for... Yeah. Uh, now, I have finished, I have finished. I'm just, I am just uh, making some hints. Oh, one minute, okay. give me one minute. Okay, and last one, you get the pollens, like the pollens are like this, you can eat it, that's all. Okay, so these are some of the important and P venom, which I will explain you within a few seconds. B venom is a product which is very important for your uh, diseases here. Okay. So this is what uh, honeybees are giving us. So I will, I am thanks to Dr. Dominico for giving me a chance to, uh, thank, you. thank you very much. Dominico, thanks, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to you. Sorry, unfortunately today we have a few time. If you have any question, please write into the common chat to Dr. Dumbre and we will respond after into the WhatsApp chat. But we will be again together with Dr. Dumbre on Thursday. There is a second uh, uh, webinar always on bees. And thank you very much for to all. Also, this session has been recorded, so we will uh, share the recording uh, into the common chat. Thank you for no. attending that. And thank you, Dr. Dumbre, for your amazing presentation. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.